remember like just starting out in film school and just looking around the room to see a bunch of guys um, and a bunch of guys dominating conversations all the time, but not enough women really directing and having creative reins or being trusted to have the creative reins. I felt so alone, but it was when I started learning about feminism that I became much more hopeful because I realized that it's not just happening to me, it's happening to every woman. Samantha um, create a documentary series called Fembeat. We feature local feminist badasses here in Austin, the work that they do, and provide a platform for them to just speak about their work freely, uninterrupted, and unapologetically. Thank you. Origin of Fembeat. It's not a very happy story, um, but it's an important one, I think. Uh, I was in film school and I had an audio mentor who I found out was a um, predator, sexual harasser. I experienced this from him, and after talking to other women in the program, I found out there was about five other women who had experienced harassment from him as well. And um, one of them was Kayla. We dealt with it. We became really good friends, and we decided to kind of explore why there are these veils of silence around these topics um, and what we could do about them, and we decided to make Femme Beat. Femme Beat! Femme Beat! Femme Beat! This is Femme Beat! It was just super relieving because the thing is, before Sam, um, I didn't really talk about feminism so candidly with other people, even my like women friends, just because it was just super implied that we were all feminists and that we were all like working towards the same goal. But it wasn't until I met Sam that I was able to actually like call it feminism and really like be proud about it really openly. Cause I feel like I've been championing like these values for a long time. I've got to say, working on Fembeat for a couple years now, I have this confidence now that I did not have before, I did not have in film school. I'm so grateful for that, and I know that I had to fight for it, so it's not just like it happened. I just always hope that it ends up inspiring conversations, or at least just like getting people's brains jogging. I feel like one of the biggest things that Sam and I care about when we release an episode is that um, it makes these women visible to people that might be sort of struggling or lost. Just because like I know that when I was growing up, I didn't really have a lot of like women role models um, that I could aspire to be like. I remember in film school, my teacher telling us, just get used to the fact that your subjects aren't, aren't going to like the final product. Um, and that never sat well with me. I'm never gonna accept that. I always want people to feel comfortable with how it comes out. And so far, that's been the case. So I'm really happy about that, yeah. I think like the biggest goal is just to keep making episodes for as long as we can. Um, I mean, we've met with our next subject, um, Martha Cotera, who is um, a lifelong Chicana feminist 
who's like done so much work here in Austin. Just like hearing about all of her accomplishments and everything she's done so far has like really made my head spin. But other than that, like we're just trying to find funding and just trying to make money <laughs> so we can keep making episodes and getting to know more women. Fembeat is very liberating in the way that we are the crew, we are the bosses. We love to have all women crew as well. And it's just, we're so free and unquestioned and it's awesome. I remember when Sam came up to me after one of our last screenings and told me that this girl was just like, I've watched your episodes and cried in my room by myself because they're so inspiring. And like to see like sort of the way like that's changed like my parents and some of my friends and to see how much like people really support us and want to even help us a lot of the time. Um, that's been really surprising and neat. <laughs> Working with Kayla is one of my favorite things in the world. I could just gush and gush about it. The way that we were brought together was very intense and hard, but it definitely bonded us. It definitely revealed to me that we had really similar values and passions and that we were in this.